Hey, this is Jet from 2002, and welcome back to Banished using the Red Ketchup Editor's Choice and some Discrepancy DS mods. Yes, we did make some progress in Corbindale by actually planning this whole section over here. Basically, in the last episode, we planned out the blacksmith and smelting area over here and mining. We got some quarries over here. We got blacksmiths that are going to be set up. We have a small barn that's already built and another one that's partially built. Yes, basically, we actually do have enough resources. I do see that we are just kind of teetering on the edge when it comes to food. So hopefully this actually makes a difference. Um, although I think we might actually need another crop field. Now, the thing is, is that we actually have the school open. And we have 15 children, so we kind of left the episode there. I am not entirely sure what to do exactly yet. I mean, we could go ahead and start planting this area over here. Now first, I want to see the forestry area. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of don't want to do anything about that. But we are going to have to make a smelting area somewhere. So I'm thinking, um, we do have two laborers and two builders, mind you. We actually did get another one, but, um, barely. Um, we could get this over here, since we do have- some of the builders are actually working on the roads. Wherever they are. Let, let me see. No, 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 no. Okay, yeah. And this one is picking up resources, and this one is- Yeah, that one's working on the- okay, they're working on the roads. We don't have to worry about- the, Good God. Alright, anyway. Right, because I remember I did actually place some roads over here to keep the builders busy. We, um, we did get that other house in just in time. They have one child. I mean, that's a thing. We do need some smelters, and, um, see, the thing I, I don't like is the fact that I kind of planned this, uh, probably a little bit too close. I probably should have built this stuff over here, so not to interfere with the forester. So... It's making me think, because if I want to have, say, stone quarries here... Oh, you know what? That would work fine. We can actually build the smelters over here, in this area, once they actually get done clearing this, and perhaps this area over here. Mind you, it's a little off, but that's fine. Yeah, you know what? This, this mod might actually work. This way, it doesn't actually cut too much into the forestry area. Although, right now, this is not going to be built yet, so uh, the plan is going to be building this, but we don't have enough workers for that, so this will take some time to get things done. Now, we're down to 87 food. Hmm. We may have to open up one of these fields over here for food. Um, I think I'm going to do that in the middle of winter, though, when we actually have more laborers to work on it and clear this stuff out, because we can get that open. Uh, the other thing I do want to get open is this smokery over here. Oh, not the smokery. I'm sorry. Dry shack. Because that's going to make a difference. That's going to almost double our fish production. I mean, we already have a charcoal burner's hut. I'm sorry. Charcoal kiln. I keep thinking of that out. Um, uh, either way, this is doubling our production of charcoal. So we got extra full fuel. So, really, it's, it's a waiting game. So I think we can actually start working over here then. Since we pretty much got these cleared out, and apparently got that one cleared out. I didn't realize that that was on pause, but okay. Um, you know what, let's get them to clear this too. Might as well. And late autumn. Oh wow, okay, we're gonna have plenty of laborers for the moment then. And perhaps actually clear this out here over here too. Yeah, just in case. But we're gonna go ahead and we are going to go and demolish this over here. Hopefully no trees or anything actually uh, get in our way. So first thing is we'll keep the builders a little bit busy with the roads, of course. Because why not? Um, one, two, three. Okay, so it's basically going to be over here. So this road is... Oh, crap. Okay. Um, okay, i got to make sure I get this right. So we're going to be building this road out over here. It's a lot of roads for the two builders, I, I, I will admit. I will admit there is quite a project over here. So... Let's go ahead into the red... Is it a red ketchup mod? I don't think there is a... We can use the blacksmith smelts, but you know what? The foundries are actually a little bit more efficient. So... Oh wait, I think that is in a red ketchup mod, isn't it? Let me see something. Foundry, yes. A little bit bigger, requires some charcoal and some extra resources like iron. But you know what? These are way more efficient. 
And uh, how would they actually stack up in an area like this? So along this, we can actually put them like one and two. Oh, you know what? Actually, that'll work. Oh, but you know what? We actually expanded this area a little bit more. That's right. Hmm. So we actually could get away with, say... Let's see, we're gonna have... Wait, that road's not right. Is it? No, that road is right. Oh, oh, okay. Two spaces. That's right. I have to keep remembering this. Um... If we build one here, and uh, uh, this is going to smelt ore, so, and then we built one over here, we put the space here, like that. Why do I feel like there's just not enough space? Or there, it's too close. I can have a road here, road here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I did that wrong. Alright, let's try that again. I forgot. These are not actually as big as I thought. Um, oh yeah, we're gonna have one space in between. No wonder I'm confused. So if I actually do this... One and two... Like that... And then I follow this rule here... And say one and two... Against that road there. I can actually put a stockpile in between. Now let's actually pause this. Um, we don't need them to be building that yet. Let's go ahead and build this road over here then. Over here, so we're not confused. And, uh, basically in this little area back here, we can actually build like a little backyard stockpile. And, uh, basically, this is gonna be smelting, uh, things like iron and copper. So, I am beginning to think we need to search for something that's gonna be, let's see. We have stone? No, that's not gonna be useful here. Iron? Let's see, that's stored for iron, firewood, minerals. Oh, you know what? Let me see something here. It's only for stockpiling iron. Okay. Industrial. All right, used for storing only industrial items. Question is, what would that be? Because I would like something for stocking up on copper bars. Oh, construction. Oh. See, if I'm going to have one, then I, I want a little bit of both then. So I'm thinking maybe a construction one over here. So, 3 by 5 How about... Okay, so we have a 3 by 10 So if I do this by 3 by 5 over here... Unfortunately, it might be used for other things. Uh, and then we're going to have one for stockpiling iron bars here. Like that. And... Pretty much, this is gonna have a city road, and I might just have extra decorations around here for now. I'm not entirely sure yet, but that pretty much sets this entire area here for the smelting. So, hmm, this is interesting. They are clearing this, aren't they? Hmm. And then, you know what? Let's go ahead and just uh, let's put some quarries in for some stone then, and other minerals. So let's go into the resources over here, and uh, let's rock quarry. So if we actually set this up as one, like this, and put a rock quarry over here on this side. It's a little bit of an industrial area. Uh, it's more organized. Uh, it's not as natural, but you know what? Once we start getting to the coastline, uh, it, it'll start looking a little bit more natural once we start using that stuff. Um, but for now, since this is going to be all stone, as far as I know, wait a second. We're not, you know what, it's both gonna be stone. So I'm not gonna worry about that. Let's go ahead and just put some stockpile in it for stone. Like say if I was gonna use it for coal or something else, which we probably don't need right now. So we can do a three by five or is it three by four? It's four, three by four, it's two spaces and a three by four there. Let's see, where are we here? Is this is this correct? Yes, it is. Three by four there, you can barely see it. Oop, one, two, three by four here. Oh, good, we got some, uh, some minerals there. Let's actually continue this road over here then. And, uh, continue that there. I think it's there, I'm not entirely sure. Put a little road this way, 
And we're gonna put a little road over here, like a little entrance to the quarry. And that should keep them busy for a while. Now, did they actually... Oh, they did actually get this done. So, we're actually gonna open up probably this one over here. But you know what? Let's get them to actually... Oh, that's the market. Oh, okay. Oh, you know what? Would it be a better idea to have the market? Hmm. We don't really have that many people. Oh, we actually have a students! My god. Reserve of logs is low. Kind of, but not really. Alright, so we're gonna open up this. We're gonna set it to one person. And, uh, is this my cabbage line? Yes, it is. We're gonna put cabbage in there. And we're actually gonna put one person in there. That leaves us now with one laborer and two, two, two builders. So... Yeah, it's a little bit rough right now when it comes to the amount of people. And that's because we want to get the school done. And once we get this going and get this kind of evened out, it should be alright. But for now, until we actually get, say, an even number amount of, I'd say, students versus children, we're going to start building a few more homes. And in fact, if we actually go check this little stockpile over here, we should actually have some lumber. We do. Alright, okay, so, you know what? So, so now that we actually have the foundry area here, with some extra stone quarries actually planned out, we can probably go ahead and start planning out part of the city here. Because once we start actually smelting some iron, and we once we actually get people to do it, we can actually start building some houses over here. And uh, we're probably going to start planting some houses over here. But you know what? Maybe on this side. Maybe we should start planting... Maybe, like, this over here for houses, and then keep these as farms on the outside, for now. Um, might be a good idea. So, right now, let's go ahead and clear this. And then, once they're done clearing that, and perhaps this over here, because we do need the resources, so it, it is, uh, it is necessary. Then we could probably start planting something with the red ketchup homes here, because I actually do want to build these row homes, just like in the last season. And actually start out a nice little city here. Alright, yes, we finally have this area cleared out. So, we're actually going to replace and demolish these in a second. However, probably not this one yet. I want to keep the trees and everything else cleared off of that for now. Um, I do want to go ahead and actually build some roads over here. So I actually uh, have a little bit of a guidance. Like this. And like this. I do have a road. Yeah, a road's gonna be built there. Okay. Mind you, it, it's a lot of road. A lot of roadage? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I'm gonna use that from Jimba now. He's got that in my mind. Anyway, yeah. So, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get that road there. And what we're gonna do is actually go ahead and... Uh, I know there's some trees still left in here, but... We're going to demolish this, and then go into the red ketchup mod, and we're going to start with, um, let's just start with this first one, this first color over here, and actually build some nice little row homes over here. So, if we have one here, so we one tile this way and this way, and we're going to flip it around, and do it like this, and we're going to do the same thing over here, we're going to complete an entire, say, kind of like a complex. I kind of like this system. I do like the way it looks. No, we don't want a retirement one. And we're going to get a little one there. A little one in there. A little one in the middle. Although, I technically could put three of these, couldn't I? What is the difference? Okay, so this holds a residence of four. And this is a residence of five. So, you know what? No, let's... Let's just do this. And just mix it up, just like that. Like this. And like that. Now we're gonna go ahead and just, um, as soon as the auto save is done, we're gonna pause it. And we're going to just build one house. It looks like we're getting pretty close to the even mark over there between children and students. And I don't think I paused that one. So let me quickly do this. Oh. Misclicked on that, and we're gonna get this one built. So we're gonna work on this right here, and get one built, so we can start growing the population a little bit more steadily. And, uh, I mean, we have eight students. Now, if I actually click on these, 
a child six, four years old, five, three, six, um, seven. We still got some ways to go before they actually become, uh, they grow old enough. Yeah, we got some time before they're old enough to be able to actually, let's say, um, graduate from school. And then they can actually start working in some proper jobs. So, in due time. Now, I was actually thinking, see, um, if we want to get a foundry done, right? That's going to take 18 iron. So, you know what? Let's get one foundry open and built. So we can start smelting things when we're ready. Um... Uh, and then when we're done that, we're actually going to build this market because once we actually start getting some houses and uh, I'd say some people living over here, we're going to actually need this market. Not only that, but the food will actually will be delivered to the market instead. It'll be actually right next door. And then we can actually start opening some of these farms up. Now, mind you, I do have to actually set up a proper farming area uh, once this city area is actually starting to expand. So... Basically, this is just a temporary, um, I would say, a temporary solution until we actually figure something else. Uh, but I'm thinking, once we get some homes this way, we could probably get, like, maybe a, some pastures, some extra farms this way, along the outside. We could probably get some more, uh, like a proper little village outside somewhere. And, yeah, we could actually start farming some stuff and we could start building some of our docks and make what would look like piers. And get some trading posts over here, so we can actually start trading properly. But we don't have resources to trade yet, and that's exactly what I want over here. Because the plan is to get one foundry in. Because one of them I'm going to be smelting copper, the other one I'm going to be smelting iron for the moment. And eventually I'm going to actually move this over, and we're going to actually get a couple of extra foundries. And if we need more blacksmiths, we'll do that too. And I'm thinking maybe we'll probably have like a glass making area somewhere over here. Um... Something like that, because we have the little coastline, so I want to save that for where we're going to build some, some, uh, well, you know what, actually, we probably could put some sand pits over here, couldn't we? If we actually look at this now, the range over here, we probably could make a little, a glass smelting area over here, along the coast. But you know what, we actually eventually do need to get this, dr this dry shack open. Because that's going to double the production of fish, because right now we're just kind of teetering. It's, it's early autumn, so they are harvesting food, so in the next season, we're going to have to actually sacrifice one builder for this. And this is what? Beans? So we're going to set up some bean production here, but we're going to close that for now until spring. So we actually have the foundry done, and but we're going to actually just... We're not going to open it up yet. We're going to just close it, but we will set it up because we're going to make iron out of that. So that leaves us with 20 iron stored up. Which means that we can probably go ahead, since they're in the process of building this, uh, we can probably go ahead and start building the market now. And actually unpause that. Yes. You know what? I really do like this foundry. It looks nice. I really do. In fact, this is going to look really nice when we have the city roads and it's going to be part of the city here. And I did actually unpause all of these. So, I have all the farmers right now who are not actually doing anything. They're actually going to be clearing all of this land out here. So, we can properly get that set up. So far, so good. I mean, we're also getting pretty close to these children actually growing up. So, eventually, we're going to have our first student who is going to become their first educated laborer who we're going to be putting to work. And, in fact, the first place I'm going to be putting them to work at is this dry shack over here. And since we have some time to wait, uh, we could get them to actually start putting resources in there. But uh, I think we're just going to wait for... Well, you know what? We could wait for that house first. Or we could just pause the house for now and get this built. Yeah, let's get the market built. Let's get the dry shack. Because the market's going to be important for next season. I also plan on basically opening up uh, this farm. So actually, we can go ahead and... That's gonna be what? Two, four, six, eight. So we're gonna have to actually... You know what? We'll wait a little bit to open that up. For now, let's just take a look around. So far, so good. 
I mean, right now we're just gonna have this entire area out over here. I do like the way this is gonna be set up. I can't wait to actually see the city actually grow out this way. <laughs> as long as I just get everything properly set up, and we make sure nobody actually dies of anything. And, uh, I also have to remember, if we actually do accept nomads in the future, we will have to build a hospital first, and then the town hall, because that's gonna be necessary. And occasionally somebody might get sick, so you never know. Now, I've also been taking a good look at the woodcutter over here, because basically we were running out of fodder thatch. We're gonna need a fodder farm eventually. However, right now, at least the charcoal kiln is actually giving us a good output. Like, look at that. 858 last season. We have 1,234. We have wood stocked up from uh, clearing all these trees out here. And same thing with all the resources, too, for now. We actually are doing okay. And right now, the tools are doing all right. Uh, we're still increasing in production. Uh, however, that's going to slow down a little bit once some of these students actually grow up. And they're going to be using tools for their jobs. So, yeah, we're going to have to make sure we actually keep up with that. But you know what? So far, so good. So far, so good. I like the way this is turning out. And I do, e even though this is not really my planned city, and I don't really want to use these buildings, uh, because I want to use the red ketchup houses and stuff like that, I do like it. Except for this. This is kind of, uh, that roof is pretty much on the other roof. It's a little close. Probably should have picked a different design. But it works. It's a nice little village. So far, so good. All right, guess what? We have our first student who grew up and is now a laborer. Now, mind you, I noticed that we actually have no food, so this could be a problem. So what I'm going to do is actually get perhaps that one person to work in the fishing dock, or I can keep him as a laborer because I did actually, I did actually go ahead and start collecting some wild food. So, like... Like, look at this. We have food everywhere, so let's go ahead and just collect what we can. For now. Um, hopefully we can make it a little bit. I mean, it's spring, so we're kind of just teetering on the edge here. So I don't know exactly how long we're going to make it here, or if we're going to have some people die off. I didn't quite build enough fields fast enough. I kind of ignored that a little bit. Um, however, we're going to get this here. and We really just didn't have enough people to work at these jobs anyway. It's kind of a problem, isn't it? I mean, we could close the school, but I'm not doing that. We got this finally set up. So let's not even bother. The market's almost done. We only need two iron for that. And the dry shack is not even started yet. So we're kind of just... We're waiting for, basically more students to grow up at this point. Okay, so we're now having some people who don't have food. So, I did put some extra people- oh wait, I didn't actually increase the limit. Okay, now we have extra people in the fishing dock, and somebody has- a child has died of starvation. So, we have quite a problem over here. So, emergency measures. Let's see if we can collect some extra food around. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that, since we extra actually have extra laborers here. Unfortunately, Dry Shack- oh, it's- oh, it's paused. Oh, hell! That's what I was waiting for. Now, we ran out of of iron for the, the market, so that's actually not going to be able to get built anytime soon. Uh, we're going to have to actually open up this here. So, I think right now I'm going to keep the laborers to basically just harvest some wild food for the moment. And uh, keep, just do this for now. Ooh, we have a lot of wild food here. And some in there. So we'll keep them busy for the moment. Ooh! Alright, we have two deaths from starvation. Not a good end to the episode, is it? And that's three. So... Not good at all. I'm hoping they can actually bring enough food fast enough. Uh, all we can do is just kind of... Let's speed it up just a little bit and see what happens. I mean, the good part is that the food production is nearby. To the houses, so they might be able to get just enough food. I'm hoping. But sometimes, you know, once it starts, it's a little hard to keep it from going. That's one, two, that's four people so far. Ugh. Yeah, that was, that's what I was trying to prevent, but I completely miscalculated how much food we were going to need. I guess on this note, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. So, will we make it? I think we will. 
I miscalculated a little bit. So let's uh, let's try to fix the food production area and uh, probably get some more farm fields in the next season. Probably going to make two of them. So we might sacrifice a few more workers. And uh, we're going to need to actually open things up just like uh, this house over here. So uh, let me go unpause this. And uh, we got the drying shack open. So let's get two people in there. And... Let's actually set this up for fish, and hopefully that'll solve the problem temporarily, and we'll double the amount of fish production we have, or just about. Anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here, so I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please go ahead and hit that like button below. Feel free to judge me in the comments, let me know what you think, and if you're new, feel free to also subscribe to the channel for more episodes of Banished, using the Red Ketchup Editor's Choice, and Discrepancy DS mods. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. And as always, peace.